Guys, there is breaking Apex news. Recently, Respawn gave out an announcement last week telling Saul that there was a new feature on the horizon for Apex Legends. A feature that mostly everyone has been wanting since the game dropped. At the time, they didn't give us any clues as to what the feature would be, so everyone just started speculating, myself included. I had originally planned on making a speculation video on this later this week, but they just dropped what the new feature is, so yeah. Here we are. Thanks, Respawn, for, you know, not allowing me. I mean, you guys gave me a week, but thanks a lot for not letting me make a speculation video. <laughs> People thought that the new feature would be crossplay, a duo game mode, PvE, solos, and some other stuff. And guys, this is proof as to why you should never show on someone's opinion. No matter how far out it may seem, I say this because so many fans gave these people such a hard time on their speculation and yeah, it was just it was just like bad dude, like y'all need to calm down bro, they, they're just giving their opinions and people were going in on them man. For a limited time, Apex Legends will be having a solo only game mode. This is extremely crazy news because I for one uh, wanted it, but I thought that the chances of this happening was practically at zero. The reason for me thinking this and a lot of other people uh, was due to Respawn already being on record saying that, hey, we want Apex Legends to be a team-based game. So just with those words, may it seem like so's would never happen or at least not anytime soon. Because again, they want to make the game team based, and if you're playing solos, then there ain't no team base. Again, this is not a permanent game mode though, and will only be available for a limited time from August 13th to August 27th. Some people may be bummed out about that, however, I'd like to offer some sort of insight to that. Now, this is speculation on my part, but I'm willing to bet that Respawn is making this a limited time event for now, just to see how the game will do, essentially like kind of a beta of sorts for solos. It's possible that they want to see what sort of problems arise, and if it's possible to fix said problems, which could mean that solo might return in the future, maybe a couple months from now, but I mean, it, it could return. The only way that Solos wouldn't return would be if no one liked it, which would be really surprising if that happened, and uh, or if that there's just so many problems such as everyone wanting to pick the same character and then you would have an entire lobby filled with rates, uh, or the top 3 or 5 legends, maybe one character is just way too good for Solos and other possible problems may arise. Now some possible fixes to that would be that maybe Respawn can put a sort of cap limit as to uh, how many players can use one certain character in the lobby and then also maybe uh, like maybe limit it from 5 to 10 rates um, at a time and then 5 to 10 octanes at a time, I don't know, like you know just some sort of cap. Uh, and then they can also maybe make it to where uh, that way other people will have more of a chance to pick a certain character. Maybe they might introduce some sort of cooldown period uh, after using one certain legend too many times. That way it forces players to choose a new character and then, you know, the people that are having a hard time getting that character, they can actually finally get them because it would be people with uh, cooldown periods on said character. Personally, I don't like my idea of the cooldown time mechanic, but I'm just throwing it out there as some sort of, uh, you know, maybe possible solution and whatnot. Uh, again, I wouldn't do that, but just the best thing I could come up with. They could also nerf the abilities of the more OP solo characters. Some characters I'd expect them to nerf in solos would probably be unfortunately my main pathfinder because Obi-Wan was not joking about the high ground. It's over Anakin! I have the high ground! Lifeline could also get nerfed since her sped up healing ability is already amazing along with her dock drone so just constantly healing yourself after you get out of a uh, fight without syringes, uh, whenever you don't have syringes and whatnot. Uh, it's just a lot. It's, it's just like really good in solos. And honestly, Lifeline might be the best legend for solos at this moment in my opinion. Who knows though, maybe this will also start Apex's attempt to overthrow Fortnite as the top dog for BRs. As some people went back to Fortnite because they didn't really like being uh, forced to pair up with two other teammates all the time, even if they prefer Apex's uh, gameplay and whatnot. There's like, nah, I don't want to play with teammates. I just want to, you know, do my own thing and whatnot. So yeah, some people went back to Fortnite due to that 
reason. Time will tell on what happens though. So yeah, that's the new game mode that's coming to Apex Legends everyone. I'm looking very much forward to it and I'll probably make a meme video on it. Check out my recent one, Mozambique is OP if you guys haven't already, it's the most recent one I've made. Um, and yeah, remember to run over the subscribe, share, and like button guys. Join the Android family, become a road. At this moment, I honestly have no idea what to name us. But yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Uh, stay awesome guys. I'm out. Peace.